Welcome to Theory Lesson, Green Flashcards. The green flashcards, fourth and fifth grade must learn. You need to know what the symbol is and what it means. For example, this is a repeat sign. It means you repeat the music. This is what it looks like actually in music on a staff. Sometimes you have it here and at the beginning, but if it has it just at the end, it means you go back to the beginning. Repeat signs. This is an octave sign. This means you play the note eight notes higher. DC alfine, it's not fine, it's fine. It stands for de capo alfine, means you go back to the beginning of the piece of music you're playing and play to the fine. These are tied notes. In this situation, the value of both notes are connected and added together. For example, a half note gets two beats. But when you see them tied together, you add two plus two is four. So tied notes, that's what that does to those notes. This is called a fermata. Hold the note uh, under the fermata longer than its value. If you're playing a solo, you play as long as you want, or if the conductor is conducting, you hold it out as long as the conductor wants you to hold it out. Fermata. This can either go above or below notes, but this is a slur sign. Slur means play legato. Legato means smoothly connected. All right? So, for example, this is not legato. Ta, 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 ta. But this is legato. Ta. The notes are smoothly connected. Slur. This sign is only for strings. When you see this in your book, this means you keep the fingers held down. Also in piano, this means you hold the pedal down. So this is only for strings. You don't need to learn this if you're in the band. Staccato note. If you see this, could be this way or this way. It doesn't matter. Staccato means separated or detached. Again, you need to know what they are and what they mean. This is a flat sign. When you see a flat sign, it means you play that note a half a pitch lower. It makes the note actually a half a pitch lower. No, this is not a hashtag. This is a sharp sign. So if a flat sign makes a note go half a pitch lower, a sharp sign then does the opposite, makes a note go a half pitch higher. This is a natural sign. If you see this in music, this cancels out either a flat or a sharp. I would encourage you to review this tape as many times as possible. You need to learn what these symbols mean and not just to recognize what they are, but also what they mean. All right, we'll be practicing these in class also. Uh, good luck on this and keep practicing.